హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ మై సెల్ఫ్ సాయి ప్రసాద్ అలెక్షన్ అహ్లాబాద్ హై స్కూల్ అండ్ జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ వెల్కమ్ టు సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ ద లెక్చర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ మ్యాథ్స్ ఏ వీ హ్యావ్ స్టార్టెడ్ అర్ డిస్కషన్ విత్ ద చాప్టర్ పార్షియల్ ఫ్రాక్షన్స్ వాట్ ఇట్ వీ లర్న్ వీ లర్న్ హౌ డు వీ సాల్వ్ అ పార్షియల్ ఫ్రాక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ టైప్ వన్ అండ్ టైప్ టూ లెట్ అస్ ఎక్స్టెండ్ ద డిస్కషన్ విత్ ద సేమ్ థింగ్ ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ యూ అబ్జర్వ్ హియర్ హీస్ ఆసింగ్ అస్ టు రిజర్వ్ దిస్ టర్మ్ ఇన్ టు పార్షియల్ ఫ్రాక్షన్స్ దట్ ఈస్ అబ్జర్వ్ విచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఫంక్షన్ పార్సల్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ ఇస్ దిస్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫస్ట్ కండిషన్ ద న్యూమరేటర్ అండ్ ద డినామినేటర్ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ డిఫరెంట్ డిగ్రీస్ చెక్ వెదర్ బోత్ ద డిగ్రీస్ ఆర్ సేమ్ ఆర్ నాట్ ద డిగ్రీ ఆఫ్ డినామినేటర్ ఇస్ త్రీ అండ్ ద డిగ్రీ ఆఫ్ న్యూమరేటర్ ఇస్ టూ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ అ ప్రాపర్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ వై ద డిగ్రీ ఆఫ్ డినామినేటర్ ఇస్ లెస్ దాన్ డిగ్రీ ఆఫ్ న్యూమరేటర్ ఇస్ లెస్ దాన్ డిగ్రీ ఆఫ్ డినామినేటర్ ఎస్ సో we can write it as it is a proper fraction isn't it so what will be the next step just check whether the denominator is reducible or irreducible is it reducible yes is it repeating or not yes it is repeating so let us use type 2 right here denominator is reducible and repeating so i can write it as let x square plus 5x plus 7 by x minus 3 whole cube as a by x minus 3 how many times is it repeating three times so we will write it as a by x minus 3 b by x minus 3 whole square c by x minus 3 whole cube okay let us simplify now what do i get lcm is x minus 3 whole cube in the numerator a into x minus 3 whole square b into x minus 3 okay plus c is it right because there is a single term we wrote double term in square term here the in the denominator we have a square term we will multiply one more here there is already a cube term we will write directly c so here it is x square plus 5x plus 7 by x minus 3 whole cube these both will get cancelled so we will be left with x square plus 5x plus 7 is equal to a into x minus 3 whole square plus b into x minus 3 plus c right now let us uh, check uh, what are the terms and everything let us multiply now x square plus 5x plus 7 is equal to a into x square plus 9 minus 6x plus b into x minus 3 plus c let us multiply a x square plus 9a minus 6x plus b x minus 3b plus c let me take all terms common a x square x term if i take x i will be left with minus 6a plus b and 9a minus 3b plus c okay now equate the coefficients what is the value of a a is 1 directly what is b i mean minus 6a plus b is equal to 5 isn't it and 9a minus 3b plus c is equal to 7 is it right we already got the value of a let us substitute in this okay so it will be uh, let me first of all don't forget 2 3 substitute a in 2 it will be minus 6 into 1 plus b equal to 5 minus 6 plus b is equal to 5 b is equal to 11 similarly substitute b a in 3 we get it as 9 into 1 3 into 11 plus c equal to 7 right 9 into 1 
minus 3 into 11 plus e equal to 7. So, this is different 9 minus 33 plus c equal to 7. Therefore, c is equal to 7 minus 9 plus 33. Therefore, c is 31, is not it? So, let us substitute a, b, c in 1, this one. So, what is the parallel fractions now? Therefore, the answer is what is a 1 by x minus 3, 11 by x minus 3 whole square plus 31 by x minus 3 whole cube. Okay. Is it not easy? We have seen a, a irreducible, I mean we have seen reducible terms with repeating and non-repeating factors. Okay. These are the first two basic things. Now, shall we start how uh, the partial fractions will change if the denominators are irreducible. Okay? Let us see now. That is, if you see the denominator, let us say g of x is irreducible form. How the irreducible form will I already told x square plus a square or x square plus 1, this kind of terms. Okay? That is x square plus alpha 1 square x square plus alpha 2 or so on. Okay? And remember it is non-repeating. Okay? What was the first type? Just tell me. First two types were reducible. That too first is non-repeating, second is repeating. Here also it is irreducible. The first condition is non-repeating. So, I can write the fraction as ax plus b by first term cx plus d by second term and so on. This will be our type 3. Okay. What about the type 4? Okay. Type 4. Here if you observe the denominator is irreducible and non repeating okay and here the g of x is irreducible and repeating how does it look let us say x square plus alpha 1 square whole square okay next uh, x square plus alpha 2 square whole square so, what can we write f of x by g of x is equal to a x plus b by first term plus what will be the next term? Again the same uh, term ka square that is c x plus d by x square plus alpha 1 square whole square again and so on. Is it right? Can we solve this kind of uh, questions? Shall we start doing this type 3 and type 4? Let us do. Check the question here. He is asking us to resolve this particular expression into partial fractions. How is it? Is it proper or improper? 1, 2. It is cube in the denominator, square in the numerator. So, it is a proper fraction. So, let me write here. It is proper fraction. What about the denominator? There is one irreducible term. So, it is irreducible and non-repeating. Denominator is irreducible and non-repeating. So, I can write it as let 2x square plus 3x plus 4 by x minus 1 into x square plus 2 is equal to a by x minus 1 is common. What about this term? It will be bx plus c by x square plus 2. Is it okay? So, let us simplify and cross multiply. 
x minus 1 into x square plus 2 a into x square plus 2 plus b x plus c into x minus 1 and here it is 2 x square plus 3 x plus 4 by x minus 1 into x square plus 2. This both will get cancelled, is not it? Again the same story, let us multiply all the terms of numerator that will be 2 x square plus 3 x plus 4 is equal to multiply a x square plus 2 a plus b x plus c into this all right. So, let me multiply b x into x is b x square minus b x plus c x minus c. Then now let me equate uh, all terms, first of all let me take common a plus b into x square, what about b terms? minus b plus c into x plus 2a minus c, right a plus b minus b plus c 2a minus c, okay. Let us equate all the coefficients now. What is a plus b? a plus b is 2, minus b plus c is 3, 2a minus c is 4, this is equation 1 is it okay? a plus b is 2 minus b plus c is 3, 2 a minus c is 4. Done. Now, let us add, subtract or divide or whatever we do, we have to find the values of a, b and c. This is 2, this is 3 and this is 4. What shall we do? Shall we add 3 and 4? So, that c terms will get cancelled, okay. Let us add 3, 4 minus b plus c equal to 3, 2a minus c equal to 4, these both will get cancelled, I will be left with 2a minus b equal to 7, let us write it as equation 5, done 2a minus b. Now, equation 5 and 2, if we add 2 and 5, I will get it as a plus b equal to 2, 2a minus b equal to 7, b, b will get cancelled. 3a equal to 9, a equal to 3, right, we got the value of a. Now, let us substitute the value of a and 2 and 4, substitute a equal to 3 and 2, I will be left with 3 plus b equal to 2, b equal to 2 minus 3, b is equal to minus 1, okay is it right? Now, let us substitute a, b in uh, any one of the equation, let us substitute b in second, e, third equation, okay. Substitute b equal to minus 1 in 3, that will be minus of minus 1 plus c equal to 3, therefore, 3 is equal to, oh, c is equal to 3 minus 1, I will get c equal to 2. Now, substitute a, b, c in 1 substitute a, b, c in 1. What do we get? a by x minus 1, 3 by x minus 1, b is minus 1 and c is 2, that will be minus x plus 2 by x square plus 2, clear? What is the main difference here? Instead of taking only a, b, c's, we will write it as b, x plus c for a irreducible term. Remaining all other things are similar, is it not easy? Fine, shall we go to the next problem? Let's do. Look at this next question. He is asking us to resolve this particular expression into partial fraction. First step, is it proper? The denominator category is 1 and 2, it is 3 and numerator category is 2. Therefore, we can tell the degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator, therefore, it is a proper fraction. So, it is a proper fraction, is it right? So, what will be our next step? Check whether denominator is repeating or non-repeating, reducible or non-reducing. Check, here it is. 
non reducing function that is irreducing function and it is non repeating therefore denominator is irreducible and non repeating clear so we can write it in the form of uh, the type 3 so we can write let x square minus 3 by x plus 2 into x square plus 1 is equal to a by x plus 2 plus b x plus c by x square plus 1 is not it yes or no. So, we can simplify it how do we simplify again the LCM is x plus 2 into x square into x plus I mean x plus 2 into x square plus 1 that is a into x square plus 1 plus b x plus c into x plus 2 ok and the left side it is x square minus 3 by x plus 2 into x square plus 1. However, the both the denominators will get cancelled right when it comes to numerator let us multiply each and every term b x square plus 2 b x plus c x plus 2 c and what about this? This is a x square plus a is not it check again b x square plus 2 b x plus c x plus 2 c. Next let us take x square common let us take x common 2 b plus c into x and the next constants a plus 2 c is it right and the left side here it is x square minus 3. Now, let us equate all the coefficients a plus b is 1, 2 b plus c is 0, there is no x here and finally, a plus 2 c is equal to minus 3. Is it right? A plus b is 1, 2 b plus c is 0, a plus 2 c is minus 3. Let me write it as equation 2, 3 and 4. Again, solve, uh, however you solve, we have to get the values of a, b and c. How do we do? Let us subtract 2 and 3, uh, 2 and 4. So, we will get it as a plus b equal to 1, a plus 2 c equal to minus 3, subtract this will get cancelled b minus 2 c is equal to 1 plus 3 is 4. Let me take it as equation number 5 right next what shall we do? Uh, we can add 5 and 4 again uh, or I mean or else let us do 5 uh, let us solve 5 and 3 how is uh, let us multiply 2 to equation 3 and add fifth equation okay 2 to equation 3 what will be that 4b plus 2c equal to 0 then b minus 2c equal to 4 cancel 5b equal to 4 b equal to 4 by 5 yes so let us substitute this b in this fifth equation and second equation okay let us substitute b equal to 4 by 5 in 2 we will get 4 by 5 plus a is equal to 1 therefore, a is equal to 1 minus 4 by 5 that is a is equal to 1 by 5 right. Now, let us substitute a and b in sum of the equation to get this uh, phi ka value. Let us substitute uh, a in this term substitute a is equal to 1 by phi n 4. What do I get? 1 by phi plus 2 c is equal to minus 3. Okay? Therefore, 
2 c is minus 3 minus 1 by 5, 2 c is minus 15 minus 1 that is minus 16 by 5, therefore c is minus 8 by 5. Let us substitute this a, b, c values in this equation, therefore substitute a, b, c in 1, what do I get? That is 1 by 5 into x plus 2, then x b x plus c 4, 8, okay. that is plus 4 x minus 8 by 5 into x square plus 1, clear? Did you understand till now we have seen 4 different types, first one is reducible non-repeating, second is reducible repeating, third is reducible, irreducible and non-repeating, fourth is irreducible and repeating. These are the basic questions of solving partial fraction when the given function is proper. What if the function is improper? Okay, how do we solve it? So, those all kinds of questions let us uh, discuss in the next session, clear? Fine. This is for today. Let us meet in the next session with the more problems of partial fractions. Thank you.